Congratulations, you found a YouTube video. Now, you might be asking yourself, what was that thumbnail? What is a Gadojim? Why the flip is that Kindle talking to you straight into your face? I... I don't know, but I did slam this Kindle and I did create Gadojim, so um... How about a tutorial? Oh, well that's gonna be good. Let's get started! So, you see that Steam Deck over there? That or any other Linux computer can now be your Windows Xbox controller. With this, anything from Minecraft Bedrock, Epic Games content, or keyboard mapping tools will work just fine. Here are some steps to help you get started on setting everything up. Step 1. First, open the Discover app. You'll find that here, here, and here. Next, search for the name of the app and click this one. Not that one. That one does help you make video games though if you want to try it. Now click download, wait for it to process, and ta-da! You have it. Yay! Oh, and if you just want to use the terminal command instead, just use this. Now let's visit Steam. Click this button and select Add Non-Steam Game. Find Godot Gem and save. When you go to game mode, it should be there. Step 2. To start using Godot Gem with Windows, you'll need to download a couple of things to your PC. Those being the Vigem driver and server.zip, which I'll link down below. After installing the Vigem driver, you'll need to unzip the server files. After which, launch the server and- Okay now! Um, okay, stop. No. Hey, don't- don't- DON'T CLICK THE BUTTON! Oh, um, it worked. Okay then! Finally, it's about time we move on to step number three. That was odd. Uh, step three? <sighs> STEP THREE! Okay, at this point, you should have two different programs. One for Windows, and one for the Steam Deck. Now the goal is to make sure that we can connect those, and to do that, you're gonna need a local IP address from your Windows computer. I'll go ahead and link a tutorial down below to do that. Make sure the Godot Gym server is turned on with Windows. Then, on the Steam Deck, go ahead and insert the IP address you found into that text box. Upon clicking that magical button, you should be fully connected to your Windows PC. Congratulations! No wait. I said that at the beginning of the video. Well, congratulations again! At this point, you're basically using the deck like a regular controller. Things like joystick inputs and force feedback should all work. Steam input on the deck can also be used as well to make use of the trackpads and gyro as you see fit. At this point, young grasshopper, you've sailed the seas of Steam. You've climbed the pyramids of Windows and deleted System 32. That was a joke, please don't do that. You combined the two and created an ocean pyramid! The and reached success! Oh, yeah, and I forgot, there's also this. With some elbow grease, you can connect to Kadojim to someone else's computer, even if they're not in the same house. This is more of an advanced topic and requires a cloud server to work. So instead of explaining how to do it here, I'll link a tutorial on GitHub so the video doesn't overextend. What I will say though, is that when conditions are good, connecting to friends works pretty well. I got to test it with two of them, one from the UK, and another from the same state as myself. For setup, I went on to Discord and shared my screen, which was their eyesight to play Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The player from the UK had about half a second of delay due to his long distance, but he managed to make history by, um, making him a monkey. Anyway, the friend in the states had rough Wi-Fi. However, there would be some times when his Wi-Fi would pick up and inputs would basically be instantaneous. He heard about the first guy making it among us and uh, thought it would be amazing to build his own. And set it on fire. And asked where the other one was so we could set that one on fire which I told him no! Overall, really cool experiment, but it also brings an important tip. Make sure all connections are stable for the program to be at its best. Regardless if you're using it locally or remotely with friends, the strength of the connection will make or break the experience. Phew, that was the end of the video. But if you have any other questions or want to learn more, there are two good spots for that. The first is the GitHub project. It has instructions on how to use Godojim, as well as the bridge and other extra information. There's also a Discord server. It's new, but if you have other questions not answered here, there'll be a forum as well as an FAQ that will be created based off of the common questions being asked. And with that, I think it's time to drop. See ya! Alongside the Xbox Series X controller and DualSense controller. That's my dad!
Oh, hi. Let me... I, I need to be very quick. <clears throat> also, my throat. My throat. Okay. We might need to fix that. Uh, I'd say that wraps about things up. Wait. That, that, that. I'd say that about wraps things up. That should help you get. I'm not looking at those. <laughs>